What's going on guys? Poltergeist here, and welcome to Let's Play Sword Art Online Lost Song. This is a video game based off of a very popular anime known as Sword Art Online. This has got to be one of my number one favorite animes of all time. I love this show to death, it's an amazing show, it has an amazing story, amazing characters, and it just keeps you hooked throughout the, throughout the whole thing. It's really a suspenseful anime. I'd really recommend it to you. But today, but I recently went to my local Walmart, well not recently, a while back, and found this game, and of course I just had to buy it because it's an amazing show, and apparently it's a new story, which is also based off the anime, and that's about all I know about this game, but I'm really excited to get to the so let's get into this game already. No data, no data detected in save file, okay. Great new save file. Oh, it's just like the little thing in the ga in the show. Oh, that's so cool. It really makes a sound. A new game, of course, because we don't haven't started a game yet. Also, I love that loading screen. It looks amazing. I hope it's in English, by the way, because the show is in English, or at least the first season is. All right, let's see. Oh, hi. Oh. Hey, uh, it's me. I'm Kirito. I'm hoping anyway. What's happening? What is happening? What's going on? There's also an online mode to this game, which I plan to live stream later on. Woo! Yes. Kirito! I forgot to turn on subtitles. Oh, well, I'll do that in a bit. Oh, it's... Uh... Frick, I forgot what this, what was, what this one was called. What's the game? I forgot what this world was called. Shame on me! No! It isn't in English. Oh, come on. Oh, is there an English setting? Please Realm of Gods and Light of Darkness. Yeah, yeah, stop drooling. We all know you've been looking at forward to this, Kiri. Kiri? Also, can I just see use your real name? Fine, fine, fine. Elio, I'll online. I know it's only been a few months since we started playing. But everyone, including me, has been waiting for this massive update. I can't wait to see what, what's here. I can tell. You have that must level look in your eye. <laughs> so, enough with, with the starting. Let's go. A new area is just a short flight away. Oh, you're right. Come on. Oh, I do hope there's something in science that I don't, where I can, like, um, make it English. Because this is going to get aggravated. I just tell. Do we get to play now? Oh. Well, this looks beautiful. I like this. This music's nice, too. Wong Line, the island of the meadows. Wog Lindy. Whatever. Here we are. So this is Far Svarv Alum. Looks like it. Dad. Oh, Yui! Where's Yui? It's little Yui! <laughs> You finally made it! Is it just you and Leafa today? For now, we're meeting up with the others later. Aw, alright. So, Yui, are, where are you? Where, where exactly are we? The lowest zone, le level zone of the new con contents floating content. It's called Wongland, the Island of Meadows. You're supposed to start here and clear one island at a time, gradually gaining access to more areas. Or, to put it simply, you can you have to beat one island to move on to the next. Got it. Thanks, Yui. So, what's next, Kazuta? Kazuto? Should we go over the basics again and make sure we have everything down? Yeah. Hmm, good idea. You know that's why they say practice makes perfect. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. Daddy, Leafa, let Le Daddy, Leafa, let me explain everything, but you have to promise to listen closely, okay? Of course, Yui. Let's start by by practicing basic movement. While on land, use the left stick to move. While moving, use left stick 
with the left stick, press R1 to dash. Increase your movement speed. Dashing is useful when you're when you want to run away from any clo or f any away from or get closer to enemies. However, dashing slowly. L however, dashing slowly l uses up your stamina points. When you run out of stamina points, you become fatigued. Once you fa once you're fatigued, you won't be able to move for a while. However, your stamina points will recover quickly, so you shouldn't worry too much about this. All right. All right. Let's try moving to that glowy spot, glowing spot point, glowing point. Breathe. Okay. Oh. Hmm. All right. Oh, it's a sprint. Okay, I got it. Good job. That was easy. You've got movement down, Pat. Next, let's talk about search points. Search points are glowing spots where you can see the in outdoor areas or and in dungeons. By examining them, you can discover the currency of Starve Alum, yield or items. Hey, hey, Kirito, look. There's a search point right over there. Yeah, okay. After you approach the ser a search point, you can examine by it by pressing wa circle. Why not give it a try? Alright, sure. Gotcha. I jump pretty high. Can I double jump? I can. The jumping mechanic's weird. But ser search it. Right. You did it! What did I get? You found Yold. You can find both Yold and items by for enhancing your weapons, crafting materials, or search points. For, from search points. Search points can be found on both the ground and in the sky. Make sure you to examine any you find. Okay then, next on our list of things to a practice is, flo is our floating mode and fighting mode. Oh, so I get to fly now? Flight mode. When you want to get off the ground you can, and up into the air, press the, the deep pad to switch your current movement mode. There are two different modes of aerial movement. Flight, floating mode let, lets you hover. Flight mode lets you soar like a bird. Oh, that sounds awesome. Come on, big brother, let's try floating. To start with, to start, you will need to activate float, floating mode. Activating, activate floating mode by pressing left or right, or, or hold X, or hold X to ascend, and to press X twice to descend. First, try going up as high as you can. Alright. Whoa! Alright. Oh, this is so cool. Going higher! I believe I could fly. Oh, this is amazing. This is awesome. That's my daddy! Oh, you so adorable. If you attempt to go any higher, you will hit the, it, this area's lim altitude limit. And in Svart Alhem, each area has its own altitude limit. If you try to go beyond the altitude limit, floating, floating or flight, float, floating or flight mode will be canceled. You will f and you will fall. Be careful. Let's practice a little more. Please, let's practice, practice a little more, Daddy. Please float back to the ground. You can descend by pressing X twice. It can be pretty scary, but you can pr press down to switch to walking mode. And and free fall back to on, onto the ground. Why are they making more Okay. Oh, you did it. This is actually pretty easy. I was expecting like complicated controls and all, but this is not. This is pretty easy. Uh, uh, it's not hard at all. That should be everything for floating mode. Next lesson we'll be practicing flight mode. Oh yes. Fli give it to me. Give it to me. Press up to switch to flight mode. In flight mode, you you will automatically fly forward. Use L to freely control your movement in the air. You can also increase your speed by dashing and even ent enter an aerial drive, which lets you fly even faster. Heh, <laughs> you're to you're a total noob when it comes when it's when you start fl started flying, Kirito. But you've gotten the hang of it pretty quickly. I agreed. Daddy is amazing. <laughs> oh gosh. This is bringing back so many memories. I actually re re recently would watch this series with my, mom, with my mom. She enjoyed it, and that made me happy. Let's practice flying to that fly to that gl glowing point while in flight mode. Yeah, sure, 
Oh, okay. Woo! Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, go up. Up, up, up. Alright. Fantastic, you did it! Okay, that did get kind of tricky. You look so cool when you're flying, Daddy. Keep in mind that both da dashing and aerial drives use up stamina points when you are f in flight mode. However, you can be very useful when you want to close in on a pesky enemy in a hurry. Alright. Do I get the le F Fighting, yes! You should be an expert at flying by now. What's next, Yui? Battle. Let's start with the basics to make sure we don't forget anything. There are two types of attacks. You use a weak attack by pressing square. Use a strong or use strong attack by pressing triangle. Strong attacks use up stamina points, and, but but are very powerful. When you attack, you, your weapon will be will automatically draw be drawn. Press R1 quickly to switch between having a, it drawn or sheathed. The trick is to press lightly and quickly. You will have to learn, and you still haven't learned any magic, but when you do, remember your weapons need to be sheathed for you to cast magic. Look over there. An enemy. Let's let's fight it. Do your best, Daddy. Alright. I'm ready for this. Oh, I can dual wield. Yes. Alright. That was easy. Right. You did it. Well, that was really easy. All that. I was expecting something more of a challenge. Give me some more fun. Hey, great job. Oh, these guys look more of a challenge. Uh-oh, more enemies spawned. Let's wipe the floor with these two. These look a bit tougher than the others. You can dodge and guard by enemy attacks by to give you attacks, giving you advantage in battle. Press circle while moving to perform a dodge. Press R1 and circle to guard. When you are hit by an attack, you will that sends you flying, you can use dodge to perform a recovery to quickly get to on your feet. If you don't perform a recovery, you'll be knocked down. When you're lying on the ground, you're defenseless. Dodging uses stamina points, and guarding uses gu the guard meter. Keep your eye on how much of each you have left. Let's hurry and give it a try. Alright. Start with this guy. What? Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, what did I just do? Alright, come on. Whoa, what did I just do? How did I do that? I don't even know how I did that. I didn't know I had, like, special attacks. Do you remember how to dodge guard and- you remember- Do you remember how to dodge guard- guard and- guard and perform a recovery? The time to dodge or to an attack is to is or to press R1 to guard seems like it might be a bit hard to get hard to get down. It can be, but it's worth the effort to master. Now let us continue practicing to learn how to lock lock on feature. When enemies are about are are about, press L hold L1 to lock onto the enemies and cl close to enemy closest to the camera. Lock on this lock on means the view will automatically face forward and the enemy you will have locked on to right right. Correct. It's use it's very useful when you face faster enemies. This is another basic battle basic that you should become um, proficient at. What load out, get out of here. Brother, get out there and show them what how it's done. Lock on by holding uh, I got it, I got it. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Hey, hey you. Yeah, I don't like you. Oh shit. Oh crap. Uh wait. Alright, I'm locked on. Oh, I can't hold and lock to lock on. Alright. Uh, what? Alright. Wait, this guy's a level 50. What level am I? Gotcha. Amazing, Daddy, you're fantastic. Fantastico! All right, that's the stuff. En enemy down. And look what you have that here. It even drops some yield. Yield. Defeat enemies. Defeated enemies can drop yield weapons and other items. This finishes today's lessons. If you want to review anything we practice today, you can fight fight monsters and move around freely in this area. So am I done now? Can I play the game? Phew. Looks like we cleared this place. <laughs> 
But how? How is it? How was it? Looks like it looks like like the feeling of the new areas. It was okay. It was fun. Yeah, they're really fun. I thought you'd say that, and I happen to agree. I'm looking forward to playing through the rest of it. it. Now that we've finished stretching our legs, how about we visit the nearest town? I could use a break. Is there a teleport gate around here? Daddy, this is the perfect time to use your your marker. My, right, my marker. Marker. Marker? Did I have one of the Did I have one of those? It's the manual It's in the manual that everyone received when they implanted Sfar of El implemented I need to learn to read. Svart El Elfhem. Didn't you read it? Sorry, you're, Yui. I must have missed it. Can you give me a short version? Sure, Daddy. The marker is located on the upper right screen where the mark shown on the map. Oh, my mini map, okay. This red marker is displayed on the map when there is an important object you need to complete. I get it. Just go just go direct to in the direction the marker points and it'll lead you to the nearest teleport game. That's useful. Yeah. It'll definitely come in handy when you're when we're clearing these areas. All right, so I guess I gotta go there now. But first, I need to see uh, options. Can I? Uh, okay, so that's not gonna. I can't change the language, so that's uh, not gonna be. Oh well, I don't care. It's, it it doesn't bother me. That's in English. It might bother you guys, but I don't care. I mean, I'll just read it if I can. So let's get going. Uh, where are we going? Heading that way, I suppose. Oh yeah, wait. Flying uses up stamina, but I don't care. All right, all right. That's enough flying for now. This must be the teleport gate, all right? Yes. Finally, the teleport gate. Let me explain how to use teleport gates. In Svarv, Svart Alfham. Towns and other areas are often connected by these teleport gates. As you proceed through the game, you will unlock new destinations that can be reached through these temple temp teleport gates. So these, are, so there are more places to see besides this metal this metal island. It looks it's I'm blah, 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 blah. I'm looking forward to seeing what lies ahead. All right, let all right then. Let's use the teleport gate and, and head to the head to town. Move on to the teleport gate to display teleport menu. You can select the town from there. I thought that was pretty obvious. Okay, I'm gonna sheath my weapon now. I don't need those. Floating city of Rhine. It's the only place I can go. I'm actually enjoying this. This is pretty fun. I'm not sure if it's uh if you guys are enjoying it, but I'm enjoying it definitely. If you, and like I said, there is an online mode of this where I can actually make my own character and play online with others. When I'm probably gonna do that for a live stream, because since PlayStation 4 has like a feature that you can live stream, I'll definitely be live streaming that. Ooh, this place looks nice. Wonder what there is to do in the town. The floating city of Rhine. How interesting! Hello, me. Wow, look at this place. So this is what towns in Sfar of Al Fem look like. Isn't, isn't entering a new town just so exciting? I love seeing that what each one has to offer. This town has this town has all the basics and adventure needs, like inns and stores. It's even got a tavern and, and, and an arena. Sounds like there's a lot to do. It'll be worth checking everything out. Hold on a second, Daddy. It looks like part of the system has been updated. Unlike the the vanilla LAO, flying flying is no longer permitted in towns to far far Elham. Oh, really? That sucks. Interesting. Sounds like the system architecture for LAO, ALO and Sfar of Elham are totally different. Exactly. This is an in this update they'll they redesigned everything. A number of new dungeons and quests were also added, including some of the hardest yet. So there's lots to explore and even more to fight. And even more things to fight. Sweet. 
All right. Let's have a look around. Can I actually talk to these people? Are these like actual players? No, these are just NPCs. I can, I can just walk through this guy. Who are? Hey, 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 buddy. Hey, look at me. I can jump and stuff. So I'm supposed to go over there, but I'm out. I'm just about out of time for this. <gasps> Is that Azuna? Oh, Azuna's here. All right. Well, I'm just about out of time for this episode, so I'm gonna have to end it here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to click on the like button down below and add to favorites list. If you want to check out more of my videos, then be, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I upload them as often as I can. Anyway, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out, guys.